Aussies love their loyalty programs, airlines, supermarkets, discount stores, even eateries. But are they worth the hassle and are you really getting bang for your buck? Well, tonight, David Richardson looks at two of our biggest. They're there to get us in, basically, to, to try and make us loyal to one supermarket chain as against another. Nothing comes for free. You're offering something to these companies. The question is, how much are you offering? How much of that data are you willing to give over? They're the bait to lure us in, tempting us with freebies, shopping points, vouchers, discounts and special offers. But there's a sting in the tail when it comes to so-called loyalty programs. Loyalty has a meaning of loyalty and, and reward has a meaning of reward. I was very disappointed to find out that Really, I'd amassed almost nothing from the end of it, indeed just $10 or a $10 coupon. Elizabeth Knight signed on to the Coles Flybys program late last year. In the next four months, she spent $3,400 on groceries, expecting to see some reward for that loyalty. She was gobsmacked by what she got, a $10 voucher. The rate of accumulation was so low and the reward was really quite paltry. All these loyalty programs have their own currency and they are a little bit dark arts about you know how that uh, in fact uh, and how, how that currency works, what, it, what the currency is actually worth. Three quarters of Australian shoppers over 14 are members of a loyalty program. There are more than 30 across the country from coffees to jeans to our two big supermarket giants Woolworths Rewards and Coles Flybys. Elizabeth Knight is not just an average shopper, she's also a newspaper reporter who turned her attention to loyalty programs and what companies do with our information when we sign up and then shop. They're getting quite a lot out of it. They're getting really, really, really very valuable information about us, about the way we shop, about where our price points are, what they can entice us into their store with. So then they've got a really good, clear picture of who we are. At Woolworths Rewards, we have a big member database. We also have big data. Woolies readily admits it mines data. But what few realise is Woolworths is half owner of a massive data broking company called Quantium. This gives us the opportunity to target and tailor offers to each individual customer. I'm not a member of any loyalty card. I think uh, I'm very aware of what I'm trading off in order to get a reward out of that. And at a cost basis, it's not a reward. Tim Norton-Smith from Digital Rights Watch is concerned about the amount of data loyalty cards provide and where all this is leading to in the future. But some stores in the US and Europe particularly will have Bluetooth trackers in elements of their store so that they can monitor when a phone is nearby in a certain area, say the women's shoes department. They can monitor how long you spent in that area and then whether or not you purchased anything. Then they can target you afterwards and go back and just wheedle you away. You should have bought those shoes, you should have bought those shoes. No one is suggesting Coles or Woolworths are doing anything illegal. Coles maintains it does not on-sell any personal information, only using it to make special offers to customers, while Woolworths only provides information to product suppliers and no one else. Is it dangerous for them to have that information? It's dangerous depending on what they do with it. The Australian privacy law needs a good overhaul. It needs to look at all these things in the context of how we're actually treating citizens and how we're actually obeying their privacy principles. With more and more of our daily lives spent in cyberspace, more and more personal information is being mined by data companies. Everyday Australians just need to realise this when signing up for loyalty cards. Is it dangerous? Well, I think it's too early to say whether it's dangerous, but is there a risk? Oh, yes, I'm sure that with any data collection, um, there is ultimately risks. 